What's going on, everybody? Not too sure what day the video is going to pop out, but I wanted to get this out. I went to the card show this morning. It was pretty packed with people set up in there. There were people walking around. I can't tell you how many people bought in there. I only seen a few transactions other than my own. I can't tell you a lot of the prices. People were not budging on. I don't know if they were in high on these cards or what. Um, I mean, a lot were over eBay. I can tell you that. Uh, not a lot of people were willing to work on the bigger stuff at all. They pretty much, like I said, it sounded like a lot of people were in on this stuff with a lot of money. So, there wasn't a whole lot that I seen that I really wanted there and was in what I would pay for a card. Even like, you know, stuff for PC. Uh, it was just really overpriced onto it. I figured I'll find it somewhere else down the road to pick it up. But I'm going to go ahead and cut to the video. You guys can see some of the stuff that I looked at. I think it was about five or six tables that I highlight on here. I did run into 502 Frank up there. Uh, we had a little chat about what we thought of our opinion of the show going on up there. I'm sure he'll share that in his video, so make sure you check it out. For me, like I said, I was a buyer. He was up there selling. I don't think he kept his table up long. Um, he might have offhand, but there, there was a lot of like bin boxes and stuff like that out there. But hey, let me let me go ahead and cut to the video, and you guys can take a look at some of this stuff.
all right, all right, I'm back, I'm back. I'm getting better with that GoPro being a small one, too. Um, just small screen. I'm trying to get stuff. Then you got the reflections off the glasses and stuff. There was a lot of retail product there, like just laid on tables, no display cases, stuff like that there. And I just would whiz by because it's, it's to me, I get anywhere. I'm looking for stuff that I usually can't find anywhere. Uh, stuff that'll stand out to me in the long run on the different things. But, like I said, some of the stuff it's just hard to find and deal with out there. Last show, I mean, there were people out there, you know, that was wanting to sell and they were giving you discounts from eBay prices onto it because they wanted to move the cards. Uh, I don't know if it's because people were into it heavy, if it's because basketball just started, football's you know, partway through it all. I, I really couldn't tell you offhand. But, you know, most of Vibe, a lot of guys didn't want to move stuff. If they did, it was stuff they have been holding on to for a while. But the good stuff, you were going to pay premium dollar there. It was kind of shocking, to be honest, on to it. Okay, the two things that I did pick up. I always liked these, the 1978 TCMA, the 60s Hank Aaron. Really nice. I mean, it is a little bit off-center, but coming back as an 8, really nice looking. I figured I'd pick one of these up just because I wanted one, and I couldn't beat it for the price. I mean, 10 bucks onto it, basically, with what I picked up onto it. So, pretty cool. The other card I picked up. I really like these from back in the day. This should be 2001, if I recall right. Yep, 2001 Upper Deck. Um, this was the SP, the Game Floors. This has Kobe and Garnett both on it. Something I'll grade down the road. I don't expect it to grade like 10 at all. You can see all the fuzz on this stuff. I just took these out of their sleeves too. But... You know, if it comes back at 8 BGS, I'm happy on to it, 8.5, something like that. Maybe I'll just go PSA completely on to it. I know there's going to be whiting on the corners and stuff. But these are just really cool cards to pick up. Uh, good deal on to it. I wanted to pick up the other. He had one was just a single Kobe, and I forget Kobe was with somebody else on the other one. But it just didn't stand out like this. Um... These are really nice cards. I know a lot of people back in the day didn't like the wood pieces on to it. I did. And this is... I'm trying to see if it's these were the ones. Two authentic pieces of basketball floor played on. So they did play on these floors. Okay. I wanted to make sure they were still the same. Because I know there were one later on It said something else on the back. But pretty cool card overall. I mean, overall, like I said, it was a show. I went up there just to take a look around. I had my eyes on a few cards uh, in the video. You guys probably seen where I stopped at. <laughs> and I was, like, really staring and thinking about it. But I, when I asked if there was uh, if there was a room to be worked on those cards because I knew they were overcomped, uh, there was none. I just was like, okay... And if, you, if I ask on two different cards, there's no wiggle room onto that after that. I'm not even going to ask any more on stuff on their display. Uh, but it, it was definitely a different atmosphere than the one I went to that he hosted the first one at that area last month to where you guys seen the Jeter autos and all that stuff that I picked up. Really different atmosphere. Uh, like I said, it could be just because basketball's in and everybody wants to try to hold off and peak value stuff. I don't know. But even like the football and the baseball that was there, didn't see no F1. One dude had some Pokemon stuff, but I just didn't want to take the time to look every card up because I'm not too uh, fluent on Pokemon except for, you know, some of the chase cards and stuff like that. Uh, a little bit of wax there, not a whole lot. A couple people would have vintage, and it was vintage raw. And I just didn't want to have to pull stuff out, trying to make sure stuff wasn't trimmed, you know. But I mean, it was a, it was a good crowd. There was people there set up. Uh, maybe, you know, because I was there early, maybe the deals were later. I don't know offhand. But I'm sure a couple other videos will pop out there with stuff maybe they found or maybe got some deals on. But... 
Uh, that's pretty much it. I'll probably go to it next month. If there was anything in any of them displays anybody sees they might have wanted, just let me know and I'll see if it's there next time. We'll try to uh, uh, see if I can get a deal done for you there, and then I'll be play the middleman and ship it out to you. But other than that, guys, have a good one. I got to get prepped for later tonight for the uh, fixed uh, sale and auction. Other than that, you guys have a good week, and I'll see you all next video.